Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done any kind of video with my natural bare face. Mostly because I've been super insecure lately about it. Um, I, however, am going to try and make it a regular thing to wear my natural face in most videos however hard that's gonna be for me i'm gonna try not to really focus on my face in videos like this um so for the most part this video is just going to be about my skin and how difficult it has been this year um just in terms of like how my eczema has flared up, how my pimples have come back, um, just in general, like how my, my face has felt very like rough textured recently. So this year I would say has been a very bad skin year for me. Um, and it's not even, it's, what, what is it, July? It's, it's, the year is like halfway over. Sorry, I'm stepping on something. What am I stepping on? Oh, glue. The year is halfway over by this point, um, and I would say that I haven't really made much progress with skincare. I've been trying different things. I've tried CeraVe. I've tried, um, well, there's CeraVe lotion, I believe, and there's CeraVe, like, the face wash and stuff like that. I currently use the CeraVe face wash. Um, I've been trying to like swap it in and out with like different things. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for me like facial cleanser and facial like moisturizer because right now I just use Jergens. I don't know if that's like the best for my face. Um, because other than just using like a, a regular moisturizer, like I, I think it's for your entire body, it's for hands and like face and everything else. But aside from that, it hasn't really been like helping me too much because clearly I've got some redness here and some redness there and the redness isn't really going away. Um, I know what you guys are gonna say. It's because of my band-aids. And you're right, this is probably in part due to my band-aids and the fact that I wear them a lot. Um, but what about on my forehead? Like that to me is weird because every day I clean my face and I do warm water on my face, not hot water, not cold water, but warm water. And it's just, it's been so bad lately to where like my face itches and it, it it almost makes my skin crawl every time like when I wake up my face itches and um, one thing that I can think that I might be doing wrong is my pillow I should probably clean my pillow more often I have a top pillow and a bottom pillow and I kind of switch them out sometimes like I'll switch my bottom pillow with my top pillow um, and then I'll wash them like not gonna lie, bi-weekly, I don't wash them weekly. I think if I started washing them weekly, my skin would get a little bit more healthy. Currently, it's not great. <laughs> That's one of the things that I'm super insecure about lately is how my skin is just not <laughs> like cooperating with me. Cause I would say like two months ago, my skin looked way better like if you if you go to my past videos and you see my skin before that there was minimal flakes minimal uh mi like so the thing about uh having like skin conditions right i have eczema i have seborrheic dermatitis um i don't believe i have psoriasis i think that was a misdiagnosis i think it's literally just seborrheic dermatitis and eczema that's on my face um, I used to have cystic acne. Um, I used to get it on my face. I used to get it on my back, on my head, weirdly, and on my chest. Um, it was very, very weird. But now eczema is literally all over my entire body. I get it 
it's it's bizarre because I didn't realize that you could get eczema like on you can get it on your arms see I have it on my arms a little bit you can get it on your chest you can get it on your boob area your crotch you can get it on your legs and pretty much anywhere that there's hair and skin you can get it and it's kind of annoying I think one of the most annoying parts is that I can get uh, eczema and psoriatic, der psoriatic dermatitis inside of my ear and that it makes my ear hurt and it makes it dry so every morning I go and I you know clean my ears and then like I rub some lotion basically around my ear but it doesn't make it go away it I don't even know if it's making it worse or not Man, my legs are starting to hurt a little um, but my skin this year has been atrocious I definitely think it's in part due to my band-aids that I've been wearing I think I'm gonna have to start wearing them less unfortunately for me and mm, I don't know it it's gonna be a kind of a, a really hard emotional thing for me because I've worn them since the beginning of this year you know I've if you go back and look at some of my videos um, they'll show me like oh i got new band-aids oh i got new stickers to put on my face and at the time i was thinking oh this is going to be great it's like a new era it's like i'm coping and things like that but really i like to wear my band-aids they make me feel secure but they're not really helping my body in the way that my body needs to be helped um it's not healthy for me to wear them all the time and I think that, unfortunately, at this point, I'm, I'm going to have to make a sacrifice and not wear them that often at all. Like, I, I'm thinking maybe once a week. Like, once a week at most that I can wear them if I'm going out to do something, um, like, special. But I'm going to have to get used to not wearing them. I really am. It's unfortunate for me, but... At the end of the day, I recognize that what I'm doing is kind of harming my skin. And long term, that's not going to be good for me. I don't want to have, you know, like rough patches on my skin because of that. And I, it's funny because I just put on lotion before this video. And my skin is already dry. It, it's bizarre. It's bizarre when you have like eczema and sporadic dermatitis because... It's almost as if like you put some moisturizer on and it just evaporates like it's gone it doesn't absorb into your skin you can wash your skin and then put it on and then it kind of stays for a little bit but it doesn't it doesn't ever stay long enough to actually do anything it's so I, I guess honestly this video is just like do you guys have any recommendations that I could use because I've looked things up I've tried different things um, for my scalp I, I also have like issues with scratching and things like that and I've tried different things but the only real thing that kind of works is um what's it called uh it's like a blue bottle it kind of looks like head and shoulders I don't remember but it, it's basically a medicated shampoo that you can get over the counter <sighs> either way I guess that's really it for now just complaining about my skin and the fact that it hasn't been getting better it's only been getting worse and it's definitely my fault shoot my feet are kind of killing me right now so i'm probably going to go for now but thank you guys for watching um next time i'll probably be doing an actual real video discussing whatever i want this is just a filler video I will see you guys next time. Bye.